is. There he is. Wait till he clears that patch of brush. Stop. Okay, take it. Whether in the field or at the range, one of the most important things to a rifleman or a sportsman is consistent accuracy. And to achieve that kind of accuracy has always involved the tedious process of developing the perfect round for the rifle on the reloading bench, or the expensive proposition of hiring a custom gunsmith. Now the leader in firearms technology has developed the ultimate product to achieve consistent accuracy, the boss. It's a simple system made up of a threaded adjustment ring, a barrel weight, and a central body section in your choice of a conventional recoil design or with a muzzle brake. With this simple system, any shooter can achieve accuracy that will amaze them. Look at all the rifles behind any gun counter. How many have a brand new feature never seen before in the industry, let alone one that will revolutionize rifle accuracy, provide versatility across all loads, and offer the option of significant recoil reduction? Boss-equipped rifles do just that. In an industry where true innovation is hard to come by, this is a product that has no competition. So what is good accuracy? A lot of shooters would probably be plenty proud to shoot a group like this. But before you settle for this kind of accuracy, you ought to consider this basic lesson. This is the size of a two-inch group at 100 yards, and this is the size of the vitals of a whitetail buck. As you can see at 100 yards, this two-inch group is going to put a slab of venison in the cooler. But what if that trophy buck is 400 yards away? As a target increases in distance, so does the size of the group. This means if a bullet varies by two inches at 100 yards, it may vary as much as four inches at 200 yards and six inches at 300. When shooting at a target over 400 yards, your bullet may vary 10 inches or more. Every time any rifle fires a load, energy is released and the barrel begins a series of vibrations as the bullet travels the length of the barrel and exits the muzzle. The relationship between the energy release and the barrel itself is harmonic in nature. Certain loads are incompatible with some barrels, and the result is an out-of-tune system. The vibrations are so severe as to make consistent accuracy impossible. It all comes down to a term known as minute of angle. The instant the bullet exits a rifle's muzzle, its trajectory is set. We're not talking about the natural arcing trajectory of a bullet, but the angle the bullet takes as it exits. Custom gunsmithing and careful hand loading are attempts to harmonically match a barrel to a load so vibration is minimized and accuracy is maximized. But the boss allows you to move its barrel weight section forward or back with precision, altering the characteristics of your barrel to match any load. In other words, you're able to harmonically tune your barrel to any load in just minutes. Forget the gunsmith. Forget the reloading bench. We'll show you how. Adjusting the boss is done with three simple steps. First, make sure the boss is calibrated or zeroed out. Second, set the boss to the sweet spot. And third, make sure that the boss is fine-tuned to achieve that precision accuracy. Your boss may have been already calibrated or zeroed out at the factory, but it's a good idea to make sure. And to do that, first check to make sure that the rifle is completely unloaded. Open and remove the magazine. Set the safety to the on-safe position and make sure you keep the muzzle of the rifle pointed in a safe direction. Now simply turn the micro-adjusting lock nut to the bottom of the barrel threads. If your boss is calibrated, the zero on the micrometer adjustment ring will line up with the longitudinal zero hatch mark on the barrel, and you're all set. If they don't align, take your fingernail or a small sharp object and turn the micro-adjustment ring until the zero marks align. Use Loctite or a drop of nail polish to secure the ring. Step two is to look up the correct sweet spot and to adjust the boss to that setting. For example, we're shooting a 30 aught 6 and 180 grain ammo in our A-bolt. The correct setting is 5.0. Turn the micro-adjusting ring to that setting and tighten the boss body against the adjustment ring to lock in the boss. 
At this point, you should bore sight your rifle and always use eye and ear protection. It doesn't matter where on the target that we are hitting as long as we can see our group on the target. Set up plenty of fresh targets so you can really see the boss at work. Pick a single target and fire a three-shot group. And as always, when you shoot, make sure you wear eye and ear protection. Make sure the chamber is empty, open the action, and turn the micro-adjustment ring up one-tenth. Tighten down the boss body and fire a two-shot group at a fresh target. Compare the two groups. If the two-shot group is smaller, turn the boss another one-tenth and fire another two-shot group. If your group size continues to decrease, continue this process. When you fire a two-shot group that begins to get larger, go back to the previous setting and tighten down the boss. If your first three-shot group is smaller than your first two-shot group, go back to the original sweet spot setting and move the adjustment ring back one-tenth. Fine-tune using the same technique of firing a two-shot group and moving the boss in one-tenth increments. Now, move point of impact by adjusting your scope as you would with any other rifle. It won't take you long to become a boss expert. Hundreds of boss owners already have. Remember, while the primary purpose of the boss or the ballistic optimizing shooting system is maximized accuracy, you get the versatility of being able to shoot any commercially available load. That means you can hunt whitetail in Arkansas with a 130 grain round, shift a moose in Alaska with 200 grain rounds the next week, and achieve the same degree of accuracy with both loads. Furthermore, you have the option of shooting with conventional recoil with the Boss CR, or you can select the muzzle brake option for reduced recoil. Like all muzzle brakes, you'll get some increase in noise, so don't forget to use hearing protection. For that matter, you should not shoot any firearm without using eye and ear protection. The Boss is for real. It received Popular Mechanics Award for Design and Engineering in 1995. Any sportsman would be proud to own that fine-looking rifle, and the combination of this kind of quality and the Boss technology will give you performance in the field or on the range like you never dreamed possible. And the more you shoot your new Boss system, the more you'll trust it. And the more you trust it, you'll find that those groups at 100 yards that you can cover with a dime will start giving you your change back. It's radical enough and ingenious enough is the kind of a thing John Browning would have designed if they'd have been playing around with that kind of thing when he was designing guns. The individual shooter can do more on adjusting and fine-tuning his rifle with this device, I think, than an awful lot of custom gunsmiths can do in their shop with hours and hours of work. And like I said, it's revolutionary. For a, an out-of-the-box factory rifle with factory ammunition, I, I just don't think it's going to get much better than that. Uh, it's a fabulous system. I'm really impressed. Gun manufacturers have come up with a lot of different things over the years, and they're always looking for something new. Well, I think that this Boss system may just be it. If it pans out as well as these rifles are shooting today, I think it's a major breakthrough for Browning, a real boom for shooters. Well, the only thing I can say about the new Browning system is that it does work. It's worked with every rifle out here, and it certainly worked with mine. The initial groups from just about three quarters of an inch, and this last one looks like less than half an inch. I think a target like this says it all. Uh, one adjustment, we went from just over an inch down to darn near less than half an inch. Um, only thing that changed was the uh, adjustment on the boss. It was one third of a turn, and you can see for yourself what kind of an incredible difference it makes. Shooters for a hundred years have known what the question is, but they didn't know the answer. And now Browning has come up with the answer to accuracy. They have opened the doors to the 21st century of rifle performance. <laughs>